So we shall now quickly revise a few Shabda Rupani and Dhatu Rupani. I shall call out the names of the students. Um, so uh, I don't know who this person is. The, the name is 2BM57. Uh, so I'm just unmuting you. Uh, please uh, uh, see your... Ram, 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 Ram. Okay. Can you please tell the Hari Shabda? Ikarantaha Pullingaha Hari Shabda. Ikarantaha Pullingaha Hari Shabda. Hari, 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 Hariyaha, Harim, Hari, Harim, Harina, Haribyam, Haribihi, Haraye, Haribyam, Haribyaha, Harehe, Haribyam, Haribyaha, Harehe, Hariyoho, Harinam, Haro, Hario, Ariyoho, Harishu, He Hare, He Hari, He Harayaha, Uttam, Dhanyavadaha, well recited. Dhanyavadaha. Okay, uh, that was Hari Shabda. Let us see the Go Shabda. Uh, Jyoti Lakshmi Bhagini, can you please recite the uh, Go Shabda? Okarantaha Ubhayalingaha Go Shabda. Namaste, Mahdiya. Namaste. Goho Gavo Gavaha. Aha, Punaha. 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 The Prathuva. Yes, Gauhu, not Goho. Atahai. Astu. Gauhu Gauhu Gavo Gavaha. Gam Gavo Gaha. Gava go Pyam go Pihi. Gave go Pyam go Piaha. Gave he go Pyam go Piaha. Gave he Gauhu. Gavehe Ityagatra Gave Chaturti Vati Samichinam Panchami Vati Kim Bhavati Goho Eva Goho Go Pyam Go Piaha Goho Go Pyam Go Piaha Gavehe Goho Goho Go Gavo 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 Gavam Gavam Gavi Gavi Gavoho Gavoho Goshu. He Gave. He Gauhu. He Gauhu. He Gao. He Gao. He Gao. So please practice uh, further. further. Um, okay. Um, so this is an instruction for all, all the students. So only when we remember and practice the Shabdas, only then we'll be able to recollect and uh, say the forms. Even for me, uh, if I if I don't practice the Shabda, uh, then there will be a, a, a doubt, okay, whether this is the correct form, Gavehe or Goho or anything like that. So uh, only with practice, we'll be able to get that confidence in reciting the forms or using it in sentences. So please, please practice um, on, a, on a very regular basis. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Uh, Gopal Krishna Mohodaya, can you tell Ukarantaha Strilingaha Dhenu Shabdaha? Gopal Krishna Mohodaya? Ram Ram yes. Mahodaya. Ram Ram Ram. Ukarantaha Strilingaha Dhenu Shabdaha Denu, Denu, Denavaha, He Denu, He Denu, He Denavaha, Denum, Denu, Denu, Denvo, Denubyam, Denubi, Denbai, Denubyam, Denubyaha, Denvaha, Denubyam, Denubyaha, Denvaha, Denvo, Denu de, denu nam den vam den vohu denu shu ah, he dheno he dheno he dhenava that is one and uh, for um, a few of the vibhaktis there are multiple forms that is two forms are there for example the chaturthi panchami and shashti uh, and saptami so we'll have to recite both the forms so Dhenvai, Dhenave, Dhenubhyam, Dhenubhyaha for Chaturthi, 
and similarly for panchami shishti and saptami so mm-hmm. both the forms we'll have to remember and write it uh, in the exam as well as uh, while reciting the shabdas we should tell both the forms dhanyavada ha dhanyavada okay so we'll go to the next shabda um ಪ್ರಣಯಮಿಶ್ರ ಮಹೋದಯ ಇನ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ರಕಾರಾಂತಹ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಪಿತೃಶಬ್ದ ರಾಮ 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 ಮಹೋದಯ ರಾಮ 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 ಯಾಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಪಿತೃಶಬ್ದ ಪಿತ ಪಿತರೌ ಪಿತರ ಪಿತರಂ ಪಿತರೌ ಪಿತೃನ ಪಿತ್ರೀಭ್ಯಾಂಪಿತ್ರೀಭ್ಯಾಂಪಿತ್ರೀಭ್ಯಪಿತ್ರೋಹು ಷಷ್ಟಿ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೋ ಪಿತು ಪಿತ್ರೋಹ ಓಹ ಪಿತ್ರೋಹ and then uh, pitr naam the r will be dirgha that is r r so the second uh, of the dirgha rakara so these are some uh, of the no. corrections yeah mahodaya i have a question uh, yes. like in uh, shashti vibhakti uh, right. and that comes from devnagri you know but in hindi since we learned in hindi also it should we pronounce pitru naam or pitri naam yeah so uh, the uh, pronunciation of rakara and rakara so it is like kr kr for example uh, i gave an example with uh, kavarga or k- the letter ka buni dakshara of ka similarly tr tr so it is not tri or tru okay it is somewhere in between i mean if you want to see that way pitru naam that's how the pronunciation will be okay pitru naam so so from where does it come means means does it r- come from- so okay so basically r the letter um if you if you can recollect from uh, the varnotpati sthanas that we had learnt in prathama or you can also refer to that video later so rikara uh, is a swara for which the place of origin is actually murdha r r but it is since it's a swara since it's a vowel uh, we shouldn't stress too much so it is a just a uh, a uh, touch or uh, touch uh, you you should just touch your tongue to the upper portion of your uh, i mean behind the teeth r r it, it just touches it okay there's no much of stress so that's how it has to be pronounced r r r r that's it okay. thank so, you dhanyawad yeah with practice we'll get it uh, no issues dhanyawad ha okay so these were the four shabdas we saw now let us uh, uh, try to revise some of the uh, kriya pad rupani so uh, krishna murti mahodaya can you please tell vand dhatu atmane padi natlakara rupani one minute i'll i'll help you out if you want vandate vandete etc those are the okay. forms oh. 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 vandate vandete vandante vandase vandete vandadve vand vand vande vande vandavahe vandamahe ಉತ್ತಮ ಉತ್ತಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಂದತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ಬೋ ಡೌನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೂ ಧಾತು ಕ್ರೂಧಾತುಣಿ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ಪದ ಕರೋತಿ ಕುರುತ ಕುರ್ವಂತಿ ಕರೋಷಿ ಕುರುತ ಕುರುತ ಕರೋಮಿ ಕುರುವ ಕುರು ಉತ್ತಮ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕ ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ
for a female teacher it will be shikshika okay so that is just a, a general comment okay so we'll go to the next one um so uh, we'll see uh, who, those of you who have not got a chance please raise your hand so that i can call out your names um uh, pravin kulkarni mahodaya can you please tell the forms of asdhatuhu langlakarah asit <coughs> असीही असीही अस्थ अस्थ अस्तम अस्त अस्तम अस्त असन अस्व अस्म असम अस्व अस्म असम अस्व अस्म यस दोस आर द फॉर्म्स प्लीज प्रैक्टिस इट फर्दर या या ओके वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन um that is the atmanepadi sev dhatu and langlakara forms um manasvi can you try try to recite the forms manasvi chandrashekar am mahodaya can you please recite the forms of sev dhatu langlakara asevata ha langlakara ओके आई विल ट्राई महोदय यस यस प्लीज असेवत हेलो यस प्लीज कंटिन्यू असेवत असेवत असेवताम असेवताम असेवत ओके आई 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 टेल अ डिफरेंट धातु यू ट्राई विद सेव धातु आई विल टेल विद लभ धातु ओके अलभत अलभिता नो प्रॉब्लम मैंने listen to the forms that i tell and use this dhatu and try to re uh, repeat the uh, uh, tell the forms alabhata alabhetam alabhanta the same way you will have to tell for asevata asevata asevetam asevanta okay you uh, you get the point so uh, try now again uh, please repeat prathama purusha again now asevata asevetam asevanta alabhataha alabhetam वेरी गुड Thank you. Uh, so please uh, continue practicing the shabda rupas. I mean shabda rupas and the dhatu rupas. Thank you, Madha. So I keep repeating this uh, instruction in every class. You may get bored of listening to the same thing again and again, but um, uh, until you all do learn this shabda rupas and the dhatu rupas on a daily basis, I keep on repeating this. So what should be done uh, again? so on on a daily basis at least at least you should write one shabda and one dhatu not just read out or learn or practice etc you should write it down in a book please maintain a separate notebook to write shabdas and dhatus so if you think you can uh, you can uh, you have a book of this size okay which is of our textbook okay the size of our textbook the top portion you can allocate it for shabdas because we will require eight lines to nine lines to write shabda say 10 lines and to write the kriya padas we will require say four to five lines so 15 lines uh, if you have a book uh, a notebook with 15 lines so each uh, you just create a demarcation line or create uh, the table format etc or draw the lines etc so that you can just write the shabdas in the top portion and write one dhatu in the bottom portion and then frame a few sentences using the same shabda and the dhatu so suppose say you have written pitra shabda today and you have also written uh, asevata uh, um, i'm just giving an example so pitra and asevata we have written 
so then frame sentences based on it so ramaha pitaram asevata so rama served his father ramaha pitaram dasharatham asevata enhance the sentence by adding one more word to it and you can also add one more where ayodhyayam so ramaha pitaram dasharatham ayodhyayam asevata so in this way only when we write only when we practice we'll be able to get the confidence in using uh, the words that we have already learned and also this is the only way or this is the only secret to uh, kind of become more proficient in using or learning sanskritam so it's not that we have learned so many words already we know that but using it in the right way uh, without any grammatical mistakes is also very important at the beginning stages say when we were in prathama though we, we used to make uh, four mistakes uh, when we write a simple one uh, one uh, sentence it it was still acceptable but now we have progressed and we have been learning this uh, almost now uh, close to more than 6 uh, uh, to 8 months or close to a year soon so uh, this is something that uh, we should we should check like where we are how we are progressing ourselves so uh, to be more confident and to use without errors the only way is to practice so please do write one shabda and one dhatu every day and then frame sentences using the same words that you have written so that is the easiest and and a foolproof method for you to succeed okay